All right, boys and girls. So this is what we have going on for Writer's Workshop this week. Now, before spring break, you guys did a lot of planning on your book series. Today, we are finally going to start writing the first book of our book series. So if you open up your packet, this is what you would have seen for this week. We have work to do on Monday and work to do on Wednesday. And basically what you're going to be focusing on this week is writing a really good first page and planning out the rest of the pages for your book. Let's recap what we should have done so far. So far, you should have already come up with a title for your book series. You also should have come up with one or two main characters and given those characters names. And also, you should have begun imagining adventures that your characters are going to go on and maybe the sorts of problems that they might run into. If this sounds familiar, it's because we've already talked about this process. Before break, we talked about what fiction writers do when they're coming up with stories. They start off by making up pretend characters then they give those characters a name, and then they start imagining adventures. Once they've come up with those ideas, they do something called touching and telling or planning their story before they sketch and write. After that, you should have also given titles and design covers for at least four books in your series and completed the front cover of your book number one. Now, here's what we're going to be working on this week. Today, I want you to do something called touch and telling your story, and I'll show you what that looks like. So I want you to at least be prepared to write about four pages for this book. And when we touch and tell, all we do is lay out those pages in front of us and sort of in our mind and out loud, talk about what we're gonna be putting on each of those pages. That helps us to brainstorm and to plan what we're gonna be doing. So you'll think about what am I gonna do on page one? What's gonna happen next on the next page? How will the story continue? Or maybe how will a problem get resolved on page three? And how will the story end? That's basically all touching and telling is. You're literally putting your finger on the page and saying out loud what you're going to put on each page. This helps you when you go to sit down and actually write. So after you touch and tell your story today, the next thing you're going to do is begin writing and sketching the first page of your story. So today, just focus on a really good first page. And remember, this is the rough draft. It doesn't have to be perfect if you're scribbling and crossing things out and changing your mind and erasing and starting all over again, that's okay. It's a rough draft. Make sure you're putting down your best ideas though. So if I'm gonna think back to what I'm doing for my book, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. So you guys know that I made my map of the different things for uh, my planning of my book series, right? I came up with my characters, Sarah and Sean, and I came up with a title for my series, which is going to be The Adventures of Sarah and Sean. Then I came up with the first book title, which is going to be The Mean Kids Next Door. Today, I'm going to focus my attention on that first book, The Mean Kids Next Door. So I'm going to start by touching and telling how I'm going to tell this story. I think what I'm going to do is on page one, I'm going to introduce the scene. I'm going to tell you where Sarah and Sean are. And I'm imagining that they're playing in their backyard on their new swing set. Then I'm going to introduce on page two the villains. I'm going to talk about who these mean kids are next door and how Sarah and Sean get introduced to them. And maybe something that happens, like a problem, something that they do that's mean or something that they do that causes a problem for Sarah and Sean. And then on the last page, I'm going to have that something happen that resolves that story. Maybe um, they all turn out to be friends in the end, or maybe the bullies learn a lesson. Whatever it's going to be, I'm going to have it be on that last page. That problem is going to get solved on that last page. Now that I've touched and told, I'm going to start with one blank, clean piece of paper. And I'm going to decide how I want to lay my story out. 
Now, you can lay your story out however you want. If you're someone who really likes to read graphic novels and you want to write it more like a comic book, you can do that. If you're someone who really likes to write and just wants to fill this whole page with writing and have no pictures at all, you can do that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a picture box. This is where I'm going to put my illustration. Then I'm going to start by drawing some lines. Now that I've decided how I want to lay out my page, I can begin writing. So here's what I've written so far. It started like any other day. Sean and I were playing on our new swing set. It was awesome. There was a treehouse, a rocket glider, and two swings. Nothing could be better, or so we thought. So just like when I was touching and telling, I've introduced you to Sarah and Sean and where they are. And like I said before, I imagined that they were going to be on their new swing set, and that's what I wrote on my first page. So that's what you're doing today. Touch and tell your story and begin writing and sketching the first page. On Wednesday, you're going to focus on making sure you finish that page. If you just kind of started it on Monday and you didn't get a chance to finish it, go ahead and finish it on Wednesday. Then I want you to go back and edit. Edit your work. Make sure you're going through our checklist, rereading everything to yourself, and making sure it's your very best work and exactly how you want it to be. Something that might even help you, and that's an option, is to find a grown-up or an older sibling to read over the first page with you. Remember that when we're editing, we are looking for capital letter, punctuation, sounds like how we talk. This is a rough draft, so go ahead and make your edits right on the paper and go through that checklist. First graders know that every sentence starts with a capital letter, that we always capitalize the sight word I, as well as people's names and places. First graders also know that we have to pay attention to punctuation because punctuation is important. Our readers need to know if they're asking, telling, or yelling. And our readers, readers need a break, so make sure you put those commas in the right spots. Also, we need to make sure that our words sound like how we talk. If you're reading your stuff back to yourself and it doesn't make sense, or if your grown-ups or siblings are reading it with you and it doesn't make sense to them, then it doesn't sound like how we talk. Go back and fix it up. So that's all that you're doing for this week. Just to recap, remember, you're going to touch and tell your story for your first book and you're gonna work on that first page. Then on Wednesday, you're gonna focus on finishing that page and editing it. I hope that this lesson helped you and I hope you have so much fun beginning the work on your um, first series. I can't wait to read them. Have a great week, guys.